Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to part 38 of my Fallout Shelter survival mode series. Okay, here we are back in the vault. We have at 91% happiness, so 130 caps for day six. Very close to getting another lunchbox. Our outfit is ready. Lovely stuff. Collect the power, so we need to craft four outfits. So we've got to make three more uh, to get that um, objective completed. Okay, let's zoom out just so we can see the whole thing. Oh, and our boys are ready for the quest. Well, boys and girls. Uh, let's get into the Super Duper Mart. Okay, there's normally some good loot here, so let's see what we get. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and a military circuit board. Nice. Some very good stuff. Now, with the weapons that everyone's got, let's have a look. 13 to 15. We've already got an enhanced combat shotgun. That's a rusty combat shotgun. So, we'll leave uh, our layout as it is already, uh, because the plasma rifle is 17 to 18 damage. And, of course, the Gatling laser is 21 damage. So, we're at the best configuration we can be. We just have another good weapon to put into our supply in the vault, which also gets us closer to being able to take on death claws, of course, and increasing our population. Oh, nuke quantum, very good. Oh, sniper rifle. Okay, let's have a quick look. Sniper rifle, 10 to 12 damage, so it's an enhanced, but it's still less than the combat shotgun. Okay, next room, we are going to have combat in here, I do believe. Yep, looks like it. Now, leave now or face the consequences. The complete and total pillaging and annihilation of your vault, of course. As for the editor, you'll never find him. No, because it says right here on the masthead that the new Boston Bugle is published out of Nuka Cola Warehouse. I, uh, um, attack. Okay, so let's get these people killed. Now, come on, get some crits. Everyone attack her. Everyone attack her. We need to get that person taken out first, because if they throw a nuclear grenade, we are not going to be having a good time. And nearly there. Okay, dead. Right, now we can focus on killing the remaining person. And we have completed the mission. Okay, quest complete. Let's collect all the bodies. A lot of caps. Ooh, and a rare outfit. And some more caps. Ooh, and a level up. Which also means more caps. Okay. Let's uh, apply some stim packs. Okay, don't really need one for uh, her. And the other two are okay now as well. We gave one stim pack. Let's return to the vault. Okay, without further ado, we have our nice loot. Lovely stuff. All rare and legendary. It's always nice when you have a quest where all you get is rare and legendary. Now, let's skip forwards. There we go. Okay, again, looking around the vault. Anything we can see? No, nope, we've got an hour and four minutes till they're back. Shall we use one of our 32 nuke colon quantums? Yes, we most definitely shall. Okay, collect the loot. Lovely stuff. And what we will do is we will get another quest underway. We will upgrade the overseer's office and get a second quest underway. So, have a look through the quests. Which ones do we want to do? So we've got Journey to the Centre of Vaultopolis, Truth Among the Ashes, uh, we've got Zions from the Commonwealth, Stop the Presses. Okay, so let's go with that. Go with level. Okay, so we've got Mr. Burke, we've got Abraham Washington, and we've got Jessica Bishop. Now, we allocate Stimpak, so we'll go with 12, and of course, 9 Radaways, or 12 Radaways, it's entirely up to you and start the quest. Now the only thing I didn't do there was change Abraham's uh, weapon uh, to something that gives more damage, but it is what it is and the two other guns should make up for the lack of firepower from uh, Abraham Washington's. Okay, let's collect our resources and of course we now have the chap walking around who is not on the quest. I uh, realized my mistake after I'd sent them. So off they go and we've got good old Abraham. And close that off. I'm not going to recall them to the vault, even though they've just left, and I could get it done. Um, but what we will do instead is, as I said, we'll get the Overseer's Office upgraded, and we'll send uh, Jonathan Scott here out on a separate mission. Now let's just drop him somewhere for now. Uh, endurance, yep. Okay, room on fire. Never a good sign. 
Luckily, we were able to... Uh, no, he's probably already... Oh, and it's spread... Oh, okay, that's fine. It's spread to two rooms that we've got people in, so we're all good. So the uh, top one should be put out pretty quickly, and uh, the bottom one there, uh, a bit slower, um, because the room has been upgraded, uh, but that's fine. We can see that the health is going down quite significantly. First fire put out. Come on, we're going to have to start applying stim packs. Okay, that fire looks to me to nearly be gone. I mean, we've got five people in there, plus we've also got uh, Mr. Handy helping as well. There we go, fire's out. Lovely stuff. Experience points boosts all round. Lovely, thank you very much. Again, checking around the vault. Oh, collect that power. I swear finding the uh, mysterious stranger once a vault becomes this size uh, becomes quite the challenge because you only have about five seconds to uh, find him and uh, after that that's it of course you're done so let's get that uh, closed back off again and as I said what we will do is get the overseer's office upgraded over the course of this video so we can do two quests at the same time so Here's the quest list, and what we want to do is we want to send our, send our guy out on the live dead drop. Uh, it's a one-man mission. Uh, we've already sent out the maximum number of quest teams, upgrade the overseer's office to send out more. Okay, well, we've got 19,800 caps, so we can certainly afford the 3,500 to upgrade. So we have. Now we can afford to send out a second quest. So again, live dead drop. Click on R and Jonathan Scott, we just need to change him over to uh, Lucky Formal Wear, so Luck Plus 7. Uh, he's got a good gun already, just need to add okay, some stim packs, so go with 6, uh, maybe go with 6 Radaways as well. And we could start it for 2 Quantum Colors or we could start Quest. I'm going to start for 2, uh, you certainly don't have to. Uh, you can send him off and uh, wait for him to arrive at the destination. So we're delivering a secret message. So again, it's another small super duper mart. Uh, so a fairly simple one. In we go. We're going to be faced with rat roaches. Let's get them torched. One rad roach dead. Okay. Now he's just got to reload. Get that Gatling laser firing again there, Abraham. There we go, another one dead, and the third one's already losing some health. So we are nearly there. Come on, get it killed. There we go, now we can loot. Oh yes, what are we going to get? Cabs, Stimpak, and off we go, 99 cabs. Not that many really, but hey hey. Down we go, and it's clearly just going to be one other, probably another big room. Let's find out. Oh no, it's multiple rooms. Let's go into this one first. Oh, and... Oh, we've got a glowing rad roach. Okay, let's focus fire on that glowing rad roach. That needs to be the target. We may need to give some health, and we may need to give a rad away. Because that is a glowing rad roach. And it's dead. Okay. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get the last two dealt with before needing to give a stim pack, because then we can rat away and then stim pack. Although his health is getting fairly low. But we are now down to one enemy. So he should potentially be okay. Let's use the rat away and the stim pack. Oh, and we're going to get a crit hit. But he's going to reload and kill it anyway, so no point in using it. And any bodies? No. But there is shiny. Oh, a globe. Nice. And a rat away. Lovely stuff. Into the last room. The raven flies at midnight. Okay, so now we get a response. And what response? Aren't you supposed to say something back? Oh, right. The lemur sees all but says nothing. And you're lucky I didn't shoot you just then. Of course. That's why we went for the live dead drop and our rare raider armor. And... Two Nuke Cola Quantums. Oh yeah, so we used two to get here and we got two for the journey. So, return to the vault. We are done. Sturdy Raider Armor and a Globe. Not a huge amount, but it is what it is. Okay, back into the vault we are for the trailing end of this episode. 
So we've got low storage space. Let's have a look at our storage. We're at 196 out of 220. It's our stim packs that are nearly at full capacity, uh, but that's fine. I don't think we need to introduce any more storage for now. And the vault itself is looking good. So we've got four minutes. We could rush that. 24% risk of an incident. And let's see, do we have any better gear? So formal wear would give luck, then rush, only 24% chance, and activate. Let's see what happens. Success! whoopity do. Nice stuff. Now we can put back on the lab coat. Okay. Oh, and that was enough to level her up as well. Always good. Okay. Another person leveled up to level 9. Is there anything else around the vault that we need to do? Yes, there is. We need to craft more outfits, but that'll be for another episode. There he is. Finally found him. 260 caps. Nice. Okay, again, collect resources, get everything dealt with. Okay. I think, for now... I'm going to collect stuff around the vault, leave it for this episode. We didn't build any additional rooms, but as you can see, at the moment, the vault is a fairly big size anyway. We only have 35 people in it. Uh, we've got there the Focused Plasma, which does 11 to 14 damage. Uh, we have the Rusty Combat, which is 13, so we could swap that over. Uh, let's have a look. He's got the Hardened Combat Shotgun, which is 13 to 16 damage, so that can stay. Next radio room, we've got a Rusty Laser Rifle, so now we could swap that out for the Focus Plasma Pistol. So again, you want the best weapons on this top floor. And again, go down to our room here. Okay, so Rusty Laser Rifle. Uh, BB Gun, yeah, okay. Enhanced Sniper Rifle, please. Uh, next person, what have you got? Enhanced Hunting Rifle. Let's go with Enhanced Sawn Off Shotgun. Okay, you, sir, have got a sawn-off shotgun. Let's give you an enhanced sawn-off shotgun. Or just leave you as you are. Sawn-off shotgun. Okay, so everyone basically has the same amount of uh, weapons there. Uh, get those weapons allocated, so our weapon quality is slowly increasing uh, across the first and second floor of our vault, so zero and minus one. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for this episode... That's it, apart from this room that has managed to catch on fire. I'm sure our team will successfully put it out. But until next time, I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, drop a like if you've enjoyed the video, and if you want to drop a comment, do that as well because I reply to every comment. Until next time, see you then.